Hello, my name is Rosalind, and welcome to Satisfactory. Okay, we are picking up here with our build and our factory, and we're going to look at a couple of different, we're going to look at today at a battery factory, something that I did to improve battery. But we, one thing I will note here, we have completed and unlocked everything in tier seven. Uh, so all of that has been unlocked and we have unlocked nuclear power and advanced aluminum production in tier eight. Uh, that gives us the ability to build heat sinks, cooling systems, fused modular frames, things of that nature. So we have two things left uh, in our milestones here to do. One is leading edge production. Uh, we will need fused frame, modular frames, which we don't have yet to unlock that. And then we have to do particle enrichment. In order to do particle enrichment, we are going to need turbo motors, which we've not built yet, and we're, we will need cooling systems, um, neither of which we built. And cooling systems requires heat sinks, which we also haven't built. So there's a number of things here that we have to do in order to do that. Fused modular frames is going to require nitrogen. So there's quite a few steps before we unlock the last two items. Now, one of the things that I am going to come over here now, we're going to go look at the battery factory. So we haven't changed anything here in our regular plant uh, since the, the last time we looked at this, uh, but we have expanded and added in the ability to produce batteries. Um, and so the, uh, I want to come over here. Batteries is something that can be produced by the items or, you know, or, or at least some of the items that are coming in for producing um, the aluminum components. So what I've done is I needed a number of things here. First, we needed sulfur. And there's no sulfur anywhere nearby. Um, and we, we need sulfur to bring over in here into a little building that we're building here. Not finished, but we are working on building this. And this building right here is producing batteries. You can see the batteries coming out. Uh, we're producing 20 batteries per minute. Uh, is what's coming out. Uh, water is also coming out of this. The water is being used to feed in over here to the refinery as part of the water that's coming in to produce the sulfuric acid. So sulfur and water is producing that. Some of the water that I need is coming from that water thing there. Um, like we saw earlier on something else that I had with the aluminum factory, I am using a variable input flow designed here to where I have the the output water coming in here i have a um, don't need the uh, pipe for lift but i'm using it for water pressure to produce water pressure on this lower pipe i also have a, a pump here on the side on this one that's producing water pressure so the water pressure coming out here and here are the same but then this pipe goes up and across a riser and comes back down, causing the water pressure to lower as it comes as it goes up and over there. And that means that this pipe here has more pressure than this pipe here, which then allows this pipe to be prioritized for the water that's going in here. Hope that made sense. Uh, just a simple explanation there. Now with this, the sulfur is being brought in from way over on the other side of the map. So we'll go over here, kind of look at the train route that is coming over here to where the sulfur is. Uh, the sulfur is over here near where I was building my uh, components for my uh, earlier for my space elevator, uh, the phase one two uh, unlock for the the space elevator, um, and so over here I'm just running this platform. It continues for quite some distance over here, but right over here, tucked away in this corner back here, um, right along this this lake, is some sulfur, and the sulfur is right in here. You can see that there's a train here. Uh, there's the sulfur mines that are coming in here and so i am bringing in the uh, i'm just bringing in one of the sulfur mines here dumping it into the train don't need a ton of sulfur but need a little bit of sulfur coming in so it's filling this up the train is taking it out using what it will now you will also note that there is a thermal generator here uh, there is a um, obviously there's a there's a thermal vent here i'm using that to produce some energy and some power i'm also bringing power in obviously via the train line and what's coming in there so this was a build that was designed to allow me to build batteries it's not building a large volume of batteries um, although that was not the point the point was just to be able to build some batteries part of this is is because the next unlock that I need requires fused modular frames and, and I have a logistics issue with fused modular frames as well is that I have to have heavy modular frames and then I have to have nitrogen 
in order to make the items that I need. Um, and so uh, the um, and, and then you've got the, the batteries that are coming from here and the Alclad casing. So I have to get casings from this factory here to oh, and, and join those casings with heavy modular frames, which are way on the, over there on the other side of the Rocky Desert, along with the um, nitrogen, which the nitrogen, there's nitrogen over there near my, you know, it's not super near my modular frame factory, but that's where it's at. So we'll look into, we'll look at that next uh, and what we're doing for building our goal in the next episode will be to build the fused modular frame factory. I'm going to use these, fact, these batteries here to put in a drone port and to fly the aluminum casing over to where I need it to build the fused modular frames. If you're enjoying the videos, please hit the like button as it helps me out and consider subscribing to the channel to be notified when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching and take care.